welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So the last one that we're going to do here for GDP tonight is going to be GDP deflator. So the GDP deflator, you have to kind of remember the formula uh, to do this, but it's going to compare your nominal GDP and your real GDP. And remember, the only thing that's really different about how we calculate them is the prices that we use. And so this comparison between nominal and real GDP helps us see uh, how the prices are changing between the years here. And the way I remember the, uh, the GDP deflator is it's nominal over real and it just follows alphabetical order, N over R. So nominal GDP over real GDP. And so here, I'm gonna give you, uh, I'm essentially gonna give you uh, all the answers we're gonna use, since we have real GDP, we have to know a base year to figure this out. So we're going to stick with our base year being 2 here. So <clears throat> if you went through and figured out your nominal and real GDPs for practice, uh, here are the answers uh, that I have. So if I made a mistake, let me know. I made a mistake once, but then I, I caught it. Uh, and so I didn't really make a mistake. So let's see. Nominal GDP year 1, I have 36, 183 for year two and 479 uh, for year three. My real GDPs are 118, 183, and 288. Now, I'll be entirely honest with you. On the AP test, if you get numbers that look like these, you probably did something wrong because they make the numbers pretty easy to work with. Uh, and these are not easy to work with. Uh, but I'm going to use them to help you see how to set this up here. Uh, I thought I was going to help you use the inflation formula, but eh, not with these numbers. So it's pretty simple once you get to this point. So nominal GDP over real GDP. Uh, so for year one, you just take, uh, I actually, I'm forgetting something here. It should be nominal GDP times 100, or nominal over real times 100. Uh, so you just take your 36. Year number one, 36 over 118 times 100. You get whatever you get. Uh, year number two, 183 over 183 times 100. Now, this I'm going to stop for a second. Uh, one way to check yourself on these problems, if you know the base year is year two, well, what's going to be the GDP deflator? 183 over 183 is 1. 1 times 100 gives you 100. And that's a good check for you to know that you're on the right track because base year, you're always going to have 100 for your GDP deflator. Uh, the final one, you end up with 479 over 288 times it by 100. Okay? That's how they set up, and that's how you solve them. Uh, again, on the AP test, they're not the numbers are not going to be as uh, crazy as these um, because these are not easy to work with. <sighs> if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know, guys. Uh, so there's a little macro in a nutshell.